All right, hitfirstboxing.com. We in the house. Angel Garcia. Angel, Thank you, you back in Brooklyn again. Are you right? Big fight. Danny yeah. Garcia, Lamont yeah. Peterson. April 11th. Now, you rank and say one to ten. What you rank Peterson on? Well, one to ten, I mean, what can I say? Uh, zero. <laughs> 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 I know it's a joke, homie, but nah, no, he's up there. Well, no, yeah, yeah, I, no, I mean, nah, I'm listen, honestly, man, I'm going to be honest to you, like, I can't rank him because mm -hmm. he ready to fight Dan, so I, I'll give you the ranking afterwards. I'll give you the ranking. After rank. the fight, you rank him? <laughs> yeah, I rank him. All right. Now, I get the man respect, you know what I'm saying? Putting the gloves on, like I said earlier, you know, I give him that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's about me and Dan going in there and the team going in there and getting the job done. True. It's about focusing on Danny. I can't focus on Peter's. If I focus on Peter, then I'm doing the wrong job. Then I have the wrong job. I shouldn't be the, I shouldn't be the, the Danny's trainer or coach. That, that shouldn't be my job then if I'm worrying about Peter's. And, but, you know, people, the fans go rank them whatever they want to rank or They give them love. I ain't, listen, nothing wrong with that. You got fans like Danny got fans. Nothing wrong with it. But at the end of the day, April 11th, and still undefeated. undefeated. I'm not going to say champ, undefeated fighter. That's the main thing right there. Now, how is this camp different compared to all the other camps? Well, the thing is, it's nothing different. That's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. When it's not broken, don't fix it. Don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why should we add things or, or take away? We're not taking away nothing. We're not adding nothing. We're going to keep it all the same way. Because so far, April 11th, mm -hmm. he'll be 30 and 0. It's gonna be, it, and then I'm going to tell you after that, you want to interview me again, I'm going to tell you, see, I told you, it's not broken. Don't fix it. It's not broken. It's nothing to add. It's nothing to take away. 100%. He's in great shape. He had great sparring. No injury, the most important thing, no injury. Everything is focused, 100%. April 11, getting the job done. I've been, I had a pleasure to be in this camp many times, man. Oh, yeah. Thankful. Thank you, bro. I see something different today. I seen uh, you using the clocker, man, you know, oh, yeah. counting, counting the punches. What's the deal on oh, that? Yeah, yeah, the, the clicker. The, yeah, the, 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 yeah, I use the clicker, you know, sometimes I use it to motivate the champ. You know what I mean? You know, you dig 600, you know, it motivates people. Like sometimes you might say the slightest thing to somebody mm -hmm. and they appreciate it and they'll give you more work. You know, it's about appreciation. It's about the fighter being happy. True. That's what it's all about. A happy fighter is a great fighter. Right, man. Exactly. Now, this whole P, you know, this whole premier boxing championship, yeah. man, whole different level, man. Al Heyman took it to a whole different level. How are you feelings on this? Man, listen. Thank God, man. Thank God it's like, it's Al Heyman's, man. Like, we should need more of them. Mm. Al should clone himself. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Freeze, freeze his DNA or something. <laughs> freeze it up. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, man, I was the greatest man in the world, man. I'm not saying it because, you know, he just, you know, doing it for the fight and people are living good off how, you know, not off how, but through how. True. You know what I'm saying? But if it was more managers like him, there'd be a better world for the athlete, for the fighter, because what happens is the people that don't fight are the ones that gain the benefit. You understand my yep. point? Like you got people that do nothing, you got mics. Not putting you down on like that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But got mics in their hand, they never yeah. threw a punch in their life, and they live wealthy in big homes. And the fighter that be mm -hmm. on there, he live like on the hood rat. He live on the hood rat, and he's still driving a 79 Toyota. Got you, man. So it's all about the fighter, you know what I mean? I was about the fighters, you know what I mean? That's a great thing, because they're the ones that get hit. They're the ones that take punches in the face, man. And they, a lot of these guys put their whole life into this. They put the whole, since little kids into this. Since you're eight years old, you're putting 100 in this, yep. man. And, and then you get nothing. That shit hurts, man, because by the time you realize it, you're done. You know what I'm saying? You can't even go to college. Yep. A couple minutes ago, I showed you a video. Michael Wodeski, he spawned with uh, oh, yeah. Floyd Mayweather, man. You, you had a pleasure. Man right yeah, man. So, oh, yeah. how do you see that whole fight going down May 2nd with Mayweather? Well, well honestly, I got to go with Floyd. I have to go with Floyd because not, I had to go with American people. Sure. That's why I live. I live in America. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a good fight for them. I'm not hating, you know what I'm saying? They're making a lot of money, good for them. That's what it's about. You know, they're living wealthy afterward and be able to speak properly and be able to think straight at the end of the day because what's the use of having money where you can't think straight? Or some people got to make decisions for you. Then that's a bad thing. But at the end of the day, you know, Manny been knocked out cold. I'm not, I'm not talking. It happened. Everybody's seen it on national TV. Mm -hmm. It's not that I'm putting words in his mouth. I've seen it right there on TV. You seen it? I seen it. Exactly. And um, if it would have been an American fighter, his career would have been over. Mm. But I'm not gonna mess Floyd's payday up either. So you know, let him be whatever he wanna be. I got at the end of the day, I got to go with Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? And if he knock him out, hey, perfect. You know what I'm saying? Cause he can be done. Cause yeah, his brain already hit his call. Mm. The brain shook already. When the brain shake, gonna keep shaking. Keep shaking. Yeah, gonna keep shaking. 
Danny, after this fight, who's on your radar, man? I mean, who you want Danny to get in the ring with? Honestly, brother, I'm going to be honest to you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to over, you know, talk about Peterson because I'm going to focus on, we got a week left. Yep. We have a week and a half left. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on Peterson. We're going to take care of Peterson. And then at the end of the, at the end of, at the end of April 11th, at the end of that day, we're whoever. Whoever, man. Is there any specific... Whoever. Any specific fights you're going to be watching coming up, man, that you want to see? Well, look, I, I watch everybody, man, because you got the, you know, but the thing is that you can watch people, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean they're going to fight like that. True. You'll waste your time. So when, you, when you're a fighter, when you, you know, I know you train fighters too, but when you train your fighters, never focus on watching videos and all like that, because at the end of the day, when you go for that plan, doesn't work, because at the end of the day, when the fighter's in the corner, he don't even remember it was a chat, because <laughs> everything is happening so fast. So fast. <laughs> Angel, a couple last words for fans worldwide. Yeah, well, you know, I want you guys to love me, love Danny, especially the champ. You know what I mean? The undefeated fighter, Danny Swift Garcia. You know, give him love. Don't forget, April 11, NBC, the Barclays, New York City, baby, the Big Apple. Coming for you. Thank you, brother. Peace. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you, brother.